Now guys, RJ and I are scheduled to do something very, very cool today. Something that we love doing and we love sharing with you guys. Mm -hmm. Mabuhay squad. Today, we are going to... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Guys, it's an exercise day again. There's Raquel and Edmar. Yes? Hello, Uncle. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do this. Guys, <laughs> hoarding hardscape has its advantages. We're gonna use actual rocks for this workout. One. Five, six, seven, eight. One. Alright guys, so have some unfinished business. Okay, so for those of you who are just joining us, we're in the midst of trying to catch this little mug in our closet. <laughs> it's been able to go into the trap, grab our bait, and like leave. Sometimes it totally ignores our trap. We found that it was actually trying to eat some of our food that we had stored. And so we're guys, we're gonna catch this thing. I promise. Now, a lot of you guys first off were saying, oh, the trap you're using is for a rat. It's too big for a mouse. No, it's actually made for mice. It looks big on camera, but maybe it's possible that a small mouse can fit through those bars. So we have gone ahead and ordered other traps, safe traps. I mean, humane traps where we don't kill the mouse, right? Because it doesn't feel right right now, strangely. So we've ordered a couple humane traps um, online and they're coming to our place now. But meanwhile, Ate Elsie, our helper, managed to buy another humane trap, which kind of looks like the other trap that we were using, but it's different. It seems a little more sensitive, like this trigger hook seems a bit more sensitive. So basically we just hang the food on that hook and it pulls on the food and bang! And then it locks, it can't open anymore till you lift this. So I'm gonna try setting it with this and hopefully we catch it. If not, we're just gonna have to wait for our other um, humane traps to come in the mail. Meanwhile, let's load this trap with some bait. So guys, I wanna show you something. See this here? This is our unicorn, right? Our um, elephant snail. He's so big now. Love that he's doing so well in this tank or she or it. I don't know if it's a hermaphrodite, but guess what? It managed to have babies. There's a little tiny baby and I think I saw another one there like really really tiny one where did it go see it there awesome this <laughs> it had babies so we're gonna have several and then here is our Clethon Corona our spiked nerite snail they call it a horned nerite snail um eating algae the uh, those spot algae I'm okay with a little bit of algae because obviously I've got algae eaters they need to eat in the tank but yeah there's the our Clethon Corona but I love snails they are able to eat algae and get into places very well and effectively that the other algae eaters can't get to. And there are my Siamese algae eaters. Still a little bit shy and timid, but they're getting better at uh, becoming used to me being around. Like I can approach the tank and they'll still just graze. Down there's the mermaid. Yes, one of the two mermaids. My uh, long-finned albino bristlenose pleco. So healthy. Now for all these algae eaters in the night, I'll also stick some algae wafers for them to feed on just to supplement their diet because they need extra food they, you can't just rely on algae eaters to eat the algae in your tank they need extra stuff you know what I'm saying I love the mermaids because they keep the wood nice and clean of the algae like look at how clean that is awesome okay Legaya bye going to the vet now Ate Elsie will take her to the vet see you you'll be back quick I'm just going to give her to Ate Elsie in the lobby. All right, guys, guess what? Peanut butter finally arrived. Okay, Ate Elsie was able to pick up some peanut butter for us. And I figured with the mouse, like in the ant room, what is it drinking? Where's it getting its water? Don't tell me it's going inside my old fire ant setup. We're drinking the river water. I don't know. So I decided to get to put it on like a piece of apple. So it's kind of juicy, you know what I mean? Refreshing. And then I just covered the apple in peanut butter. And the apple is kind of hard hard enough to, I guess, stick to the hook here. And hopefully this mouse will set the trap off. All right, so stuck on there. Now to set it up. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Surely no mouse can resist peanut butter from my experience. And see, here's the old trap. My ribs didn't, my chicken ribs didn't work. And here's the new trap. It's bigger actually than the other one. Now 
Now, see, this is not for a rat because a real life-size rat is about this big and there's no way it would be able to trap a full adult rat. This is really for a mouse and so is this one, the smaller one. And let's hope we get it, all right? I'll just leave this here. Dear mousey, feel free to have some peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Oh man, here we go. What is this? Chicken in hickory powder and butter. OMG guys, wow. Mm, it smells delicious. <gasps> Let's eat. OMG hickory powder. This is gonna be interesting. So, Smoky. what do you call it? Hickory chicken? Guys, it's got like a broth, like a dodo. Let's try this. Guys, RJ is an amazing, amazing cook. Celery, interesting though. Oh my gosh, I am just like totally bathing this chicken with sauce. Mmm, guys, let's try it. I love chicken. Chicken is just so delicious. Someone asked me on Twitter today, would I ever consider becoming a vegan? I said, no way, Jose. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. It's smoky. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, you know what that reminds me of? An adobo version of like Popeye's chicken, the dip. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 So delicious. So guys, ever since RJ got this like new cookware, his cooking has like magnified times a hundred. Hey, you're so good. So, so good. Wait till you get your own kitchen then. With your own like proper tools, a stove, an oven and all of that. I'm gonna love that. I'm gonna love eating RJ's food with his professional kitchen in the future Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. So guys, just got a call from the vet. They ran some tests, blood tests. Um, they're still waiting for the results for that. But they did do an x-ray and the Gaia's proventricular, that organ that's affected by PDD, is still dilated. So the Gaia is still gonna have to be on her meds. We still have to officially test if the Gaia has PDD. But for now, we just have to continue giving her anti-inflammatories. This could also be why the Gaia is plucking her down feathers because, I mean, She's got this condition, PDD, right? Which she could have gotten just passed on from her mom. By the way, in case you're just joining us, Ligaya is a special bird because we recently discovered that she might possibly have this condition called PDD, a uh, proventricular dilation disease, which is caused by a virus called Borna virus, which a lot of parrots actually have. However, a small percentage of parrots that have it progress to like the dangerous form, which causes birds to kind of like waste away if they aren't treated for it. So yeah, we're just gonna have to continue to give Ligaya her anti-inflammatory meds and like supportive supplements, which we've been doing to uh, ensure that Ligaya lives a long and fruitful life. It seems like Ligaya will continue to have these episodes where she will become less active, I guess, and like she won't sing as much, which I've been seeing right over the past couple of days. I wasn't sure if it was the effects of the sunlight, but I think it's her PDD flaring up again. So I just got to continue treating her with the meds and she should bounce back out of this flare up. Just waiting now for the vet to get back with the results for her blood test. He wants to make sure her kidneys are okay to see if there's any adverse effects in response to the anti-inflammatories that she's been taking. Like I see. I can't wait for her to come home. It's like 4 p.m. or something. I just want to like cuddle her. OMG guys, so I was wiping down the surface here to our viewing deck and look what I found! Mouse poo! <gasps> OMG, the mouse is down here! I don't know if it's up in the closet or if it's down here now or if it goes up and down freely. Maybe it finds a place to drink water down here. Or maybe we have more than one mouse living in our place. OMG guys, I don't like that because that puts Ligaya in danger that there's a mouse running around. It could attack her and it could like try to get in her cage for food. But ever since we learned about the mouse here, I don't leave food overnight, not her dry stuff, nothing. So the mouse can can't get to Lagaya's dried food, but maybe it's drinking from her water. Ew. Maybe this is why she's been so sleepy these couple of days because probably a mouse is going in her cage and she's like awake and freaking out about it. And so she doesn't get her normal sleep. Hmm. Mabuhai squad, I'm starting to think this mouse needs to be eradicated soon by certain extreme measures, if you know what I'm saying. All right, guys, this is it. 
it. No more playing games. I'm setting a mouse trap down here as well. Peanut butter. This has gone on way too long with this mouse. The droppings are small droppings. So I'm guessing it's the same small mouse from our closet upstairs. Maybe he's moved down here. But I'm gonna set up this trap down here as well. We need to catch this thing. Honestly, this is like insane. This thing should have been caught like a long time ago. All right, add the bait. Peanut butter with rabisco. Securing the bait is kind of a challenge. This is hard to secure. What if I just put like peanut butter, but then it'll just lick it off and it won't set the trap off. I don't know, do you think that will work? Something tells me no. Oh boy. All right, guys, let's set this up too. And the mouse trap's going way back here along this proven route where I saw the mouse poo. It was definitely here. Please don't mind these white specks. I'm not sure what they are. I think they're paint. And look, see, I see more mouse poo. So the mouse has been here. No, I gotta clean that. Got some rubbing alcohol. Man. I mean, mind you, this could also be old poo. Like it used to be down here and then it went upstairs afterwards, but we'll see. I mean, we've got two traps now and it's got the option of peanut butter. Let's cross our fingers. Oh my gosh, he's home. <laughs> the guysies. How was it? She totally wants to go back in the cage. She's like, I had the worst day. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, are you thirsty? You okay, Ligaya? You happy to be home? Yes, happy to be home, huh? Well, you look good. She's so happy. She's like, wow. Okay, guys, so apparently the vet says she's got to continue her medication to help control these kinds of proventricular dilation flare-ups. She's going to be taking her usual supplements, which helps her nerves around the that part of the organ, and also her anti-inflammatory. I just am so happy to have her back. We just want Ligaya to live a happy, normal life as much as possible. It kills me every time she has to go visit the vet because I'm so sure she's got some like pretty traumatic memories there But she is a trooper. The guy uh, you are a trooper. Mm-hmm. You hungry? I got food guys. I heard a noise upstairs. Don't tell me we caught it Nope <laughs> Sadly, we didn't seriously guys. This mouse is driving me crazy. <laughs> we need to catch this thing Good morning, Mabu High Squad. A brand new day. Mm hmm. And have a look at the trap. Empty. And the one upstairs? Empty. Not touched. Clearly, this mouse is smart. It is not entering our trap. It's eating other food somewhere else. Today, RJ and I are really going to go look around and pack our food that is just sitting around. Like, you know, noodles, anything like that, pasta. <sighs> We're gonna starve this mouse and make sure it enters our trap. Tonight! Time to wake up. Good morning, the guys. Good morning. Where are ya? Oh, there you are. Hey, the guys. <laughs> Morning. Did you sleep well? So guys, sadly, Ligaya is having another PDD flare-up. At the vet, they saw her proventricular was dilated. Um, I do see that she's not eating as much as she should, and she's not singing. So I, I feel like I can predict when these PDD flare-ups will happen because first sign is she doesn't sing as much. I thought maybe that was an effect of the new lamp. No, I'm now seeing a pattern. She doesn't sing as much. She starts to pluck more down feathers than usual. And for me, those are the two signs. And she drinks a lot of water. Cause before we sent her to the vet, I, I noticed she was drinking a lot of water. So sadly, I think Ligaya is once again struggling with PDD. Oh, I hope she can manage to get over it with the support of the medicine we're gonna give her. But I feel like this is something that RJ and I will have to deal with for the rest of Ligaya's life. Hopefully not. Hopefully this is still just some freak flare up and it'll just go away forever. Because there are cases where PDD just never comes back with the use of anti-inflammatories. So yeah, poor bird. You know what I mean? Like, she's such a good bird. She didn't ask for this PDD. Right Ligaisies? You didn't ask for PDD. It likely came from your mom through the egg. But that's how life is, isn't it? It's not always easy. However, we can control how we react and how we think about things. So here is our positive affirmation for Thursday, June the 11th. Today, I am willing to release the need to be right. Oh, like that. I don't need to be right. Sometimes I'm wrong. Being wrong means you learn. <laughs> there you go, guys.
Guys, oh, some sad news. RJ ordered something and it arrived broken. Okay. Hubble High Squad, look. 